Now my thanks goes out to you guys as far as, you know, actually caring about these tutorials. You know, if it wasn't for you guys, I probably wouldn't be here making these tutorials for you, showing you how it works, so on and so forth. So as we move into part two of the storyboard, we've already established our two other views, our red and our blue, and then we've attached buttons on our main page that are labeled red and blue, as you can see from here. Now we're actually going to go to uh, attaching them within the storyboard. And this is what, I mean, just blows my mind how this Xcode 4.2 just has some crazy functionality. So let's go ahead and jump into this here. We're going to zoom out and uh, we'll jump into this right through the blue. So as we zoom in, we basically want this blue button to head straight for the view controller blue. So highlight your button there, hold your control button on your keyboard, click and drag to the view you want the button to be associated with. So as you let go of control and the mouse click, you'll see we've got some storyboard segues. And with this is basically, as you can think about it, as this button is going to take us to the next view controller or the blue screen, if that makes sense. And it gives us a few options. We can we can push it over there. We can use a modal or module, whatever you call it, modal. We can use a popover, a custom, or place. So in this case, we'll just choose model to get over there. Now with doing that, if you zoom out, you're going to see what is the line from this view controller up to the blue view controller. So if we were to run this program right now, we'd get prompted with this screen over here. We could click blue. It would take us to the blue view controller or screen. And uh, from there, actually, we'd be lost because we couldn't get back to the main view controller, switch over to the red, so on and so forth. So that's where we're going to drop a button. Double click on the blue view controller. Drop a button anywhere on the screen. We're going to label this just go back home just for simplicity's sake. We're going to do the same process where we click the button, hold control, click and drag to where we want the button to take us, which is back to the home screen. We're just going to use the same segue as the model. Um, and as we zoom out, again, you'll see we've got uh, a series of events, basically this line, which is going to take us from the blue controller all the way to our home screen which you can see the in arrow coming into the home screen here so we've got the blue hooked up with our button next is going to be the red over here we've got the red button let's click the button make sure we can see the other view controller there we go control click drag it over and uh, we'll do the same model for this effect and as you can see the arrow hooked up over on the red controller, we're going to throw a button in here. Doesn't matter where. And now, just to let you guys know, we're throwing buttons in here, but it would probably be more advantageous to put like navigation bars at the top with a back button and so on and so forth. But just for this tutorial and how easy it is to throw buttons in here, that's all we're going to do. So again, hooking this back to our home page. And this time, let's let's go with a popover. I think I did this in the the other one just to show for the sake of it. Click popover just so you can see what it does, so you can use it in future uh, view controllers or other instances. So we've got them all hooked up. Now let's run the application. Make sure it runs similar to what we showed in part one. How to get there? Okay, so we're loaded up, and like I said, we're gonna drop into our main screen here. We're gonna click the blue. And it switches us over to the blue view controller where we have the home button, which should take us back to the home page. And it does. And then we've got the red, which should take us to the red. Perfect. And as we click home, we should get the popover menu. Which, yeah, looks a little bit weird. Um, so you, you guys want to make reference to this. The popover, obviously, it just pops up over your current view controller. And uh, it can be used for several different occurrences, but you want to test and and I'll uh, figure that out. So again, you can, you can go through the navigation and that is how cool the storyboard functionality is in this quick two-part tutorial series. 